hypothesis testing for the Poisson mean using a normal approximation. To use a normal approximation to the Poisson distribution, lambda must be more than 10. For hypothesis testing, the continuity correction is not required. Example 1. We've got rolls of plastic sheeting and there are faults in this plastic sheeting and the value of lambda given is 0 0.32 for a 1 meter interval and we're looking for fewer than so our H0 is 0 0.32 H1 less than 0 0.32 like this. Now the evidence given here is 27 volts but this is for a 100 meter roll. Lambda here is for 1 meter. This value is for 100 meters. So we need to modify the value of lambda. So our new value is 32. This is the value that we're going to use. This is the evidence, 27. A normal approximation applies because lambda is more than 10. We're using a 10% significance level, a one-tail test. Looking up 90% from the normal tables, so 0 0.9, 1.2816. So we're on the left hand side here, we've got 0 here, so this is minus 1.2816, our z value. This is the critical value. This is the formula used to calculate the test statistic. Our x value, the evidence given in the example, is 27. Our modified value of lambda is 32. So our test statistic is minus 0 0.88. So our test value falls in the acceptance region. It's greater than minus 1.2816. So we accept H0 and within the context of the example we say there is insufficient evidence of fewer faults in the second manufacturer's sheeting than the first. Example 2. The value of lambda here is 4.5 for a one minute interval and we're looking for a change to this value. So H0 and H1 for a two-tailed test are these. Now the evidence given is 1258, so we need to test this value. The lambda value that we've got here is for a one-minute interval. Between 9am and 10am there is an interval of 60 minutes. So that's one minute. This is 60 minutes. But we need to take this into consideration as well, that this is for five days. Yeah, this evidence here was for a five-day period. So what we have is 60 minutes every day for five days. So that's for 300 minutes altogether. So we need to modify this value of lambda. This is for one minute. We need to work it out for 300 minutes. And our significance level here is 5%. So modifying the value of lambda for a one minute interval, 4.5. For 300 minutes, it will be 1,350. This is our new value. We have our evidence. 1,258. 
because lambda is more than 10, a normal approximation is justified using a 5% significance level and a two-tailed test. We have 95% in the center or 0 0.95 and in the tails we have 2.5%. The cumulative probability to the left of this line is 97.5%. So we look up P equals 0 0.975 from the normal tables. 0 0.975 gives a Z value of 1.96. So we have plus and minus 1.96. Now we need to work out the test statistic, which is given by this formula. Our test statistic is minus 2.5. minus 2.5 is less than minus 1.96 so we will reject H0 there is sufficient evidence of a change in the rate at which the cars pass the census point so a conclusion in context example 3 now this example is slightly different to the previous two in the sense that a single value is not given for the evidence that we're going to test but instead we've got these multiple values here which we need to add together and if we add them we get 302 so we're looking at a small telephone exchange and uh, the number of calls arriving in a one minute interval uh, has a mean of one so that's the value of lambda and uh, we just need to test that value it says down here and test whether the data supports the statement so does it support the fact that it's, uh, it's one per minute? So it's a two-tailed test. H0 lambda equals one. H1 lambda is not equal to one. Now, as before, we need to scale the value of lambda. So we have a lambda value here, which is for a one-minute interval. Now down here it says we have eight separate half hour periods or eight periods of 30 minutes each or 240 minutes in total. So modifying lambda, so lambda was one for a one minute interval. We're looking at a 240 minute interval, so times 240 our new value, this value is more than 10 so the normal approximation is justified here's the total evidence given the formula again for the test statistic which is 4 that's clearly in the rejection region 4 is greater than 1.96 so we're going to reject H0. There is sufficient evidence that the number of calls arriving per minute has changed. One thing to note in this example, because you have all of these values here, you're not going to take an average of them. Okay, so you're not, you're not adding them and then dividing by 8. What you do is just add them together to get the total amount of evidence, and that's the value that you test.